Well, last night was the Al Smith dinner. Who? The annual political event that raises money for Catholic charities. Oh, yes, of course. Everyone who is anyone in politics showed up. That is true! But there was one particular person who did. Don't say it, don't say it. He verbal gasoline the place, walked out, and watched it burn. That person? Donald J. Trump. It is what it is. I'm Judge Bergonzo on this. One particular person didn't bother to show. That person, Kamala Harris. Kamala is mentally impaired. <laughs> Well, if you got freshly roasted by Brett Baer just the night before... They say the country is on the wrong track. Why are they saying that? If you're turning the page, you've been in office for three and a half years. And Donald Trump has been running for office. Are you retarded? Would you? So what's next? Hey, happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Jasper Gonzo, what's next? Another daily episode for you. Daily Dose. Hope you guys are feeling good today. Of course, it's always good when you're going into the weekend. Well, except for me, I got to work tomorrow. So, eh, there you go. Anyway, last night was the Al Smith Dinner. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Al Smith Dinner is the annual banquet, the annual political event of the year, per they say, uh, that raises money for Catholic charities. So anyone who is everyone or everyone who is anyone in politics usually shows up. It's held in New York. Of course, being the election year this year, it's uh, particularly interesting. Who was going to show up and who was not going to show up? Well, one particular dude, for example, showed up. He verbal gasoline the place, walked out of the building and watched it burn. That one, Donald Trump. But who didn't show up? Gee, take a guess. Well, I guess. If you guessed uh, Kamala Harris, you know, Kamala knee pads, Willie Brown side piece, you would be right. But then again, would you bother showing up after getting freshly roasted by Bet Bear on national television? Yeah, I don't think so. And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Greatest hits. Trump gets big laughs at Al Smith dinner, roasting Harris, Biden, and the media elite. There you go. The Donald himself. Critics praised former President Donald Trump's performance at Al Smith Dinner on Thursday as one of his funniest speeches of his political career. Trump spoke for about 30 minutes and roasted several notables in attendance, such as New York Mayor Eric Adams, Chuck Schumer, Chucky Schmuck, and even himself. Vice President Kamala Harris was the butt of many jokes, but she did not bother to attend because she had other things to do. You know, working, you know, growing up in a middle class neighborhood and all. It was the first time a Democratic candidate skipped the dinner since 84, when Ronald Reagan's Sally drubbed Walter Mondale. Gee, predictions? Hmm. Quote, if you really wanted Vice President Harris to accept your invitation, I guess you should have told her that the funds were going to bail out the looters and rioters in Minneapolis, and she would have guaranteed, been there guaranteed. Trump mocked Harris and Governor Tampon Tim. Uh, Trump made fun of President Dementia, Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff, and Governor Gretchen Whitmer, among others. Below are 17 of Trump's greatest jokes from the evening. And here we go. It's a true pleasure to be with you this evening. Amazing pleasure. And uh, these days, it's uh, really a pleasure anywhere in New York without a subpoena for my appearance. That was, that was nice. That was nice. Joe almost disappeared from the view. Joe has almost disappeared from view. The only way he could be seen less is if he had a show on CNN. They had nothing. They've got nothing. They've got Fake nothing. Fake news, right? Fake. Love it. Love it. Now Kamala. It's been a long tradition for both Democrat and Republican candidates for president of the United States to attend this dinner. They're always, it's a rule. You got to go to the dinner. But uh, my opponent feels like she does not have to be here, which is deeply disrespectful to the event and in particular to our great Catholic community. Very disrespectful. Here the last cheers. Democrat the pulse. not to attend this important event was Walter Mondale, and it did not go very well for him. <laughs> he lost 49 states, and he won one. He was expected to do well, then it didn't work out. <laughs> it shows you there is a God. I mean, for those people that are questioning. Nice. Nice. I understand the real reason that she's not here is she's 
hunting with her running mate, spending a lot of time hunting. <laughs> In any event, it's a weird, 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 weird. You know the word weird. The two candidates for president are supposed to exchange good-natured barbs. And you know we get along very well. I didn't like Biden very much, and now I like him quite a bit. You know, it's... <laughs> and now I say that she's much worse than him. He was a much better candidate than her, actually. And when we hopefully win, dispose of her, I like her a lot. But right now, I can't stand her. It's true. I can't stand her. But if you really wanted Vice President Harris to accept your invitation, I guess you should have told her the funds were going to bail out the looters and rioters in Minneapolis, and she would have been here guaranteed. She would have been here. Guaranteed. No lies okay. detected. She would have been okay with that. But I know this isn't my normal crowd tonight because it just isn't. It's not my normal crowd. Believe me, my normal crowd is younger, has a lot more energy, but you have certain advantages too, like cash, lots of cash. Nice. But, many nice. Of you are, but uh, I must say I was shocked when I heard that Kamala was skipping the Al Smith dinner. I'd really hope that she would come because we can't get enough of hearing her beautiful laugh. She laughs like crazy. We but enough about Kamala Harris. The fact is, we need new leadership in this country right now. We have someone in the White House who can barely talk, barely put together two coherent sentences, who seems to have mental faculties of a child, it's said. is a person that has nothing going, no intelligence whatsoever, but enough about Kamala Harris, let's get on to something. A major issue in the race is child care. A major issue in this race is child care, and Kamala has put forward a concept of a plan. A lot of people don't like it. The only piece of advice I would have for her in the event that she wins would be not to let her husband Doug anywhere near the nannies. Just keep him away. That's Ouch. a nasty one. Uh, there's a group called the White Dudes for Harris. There's a group called White Dudes for Harris. Have you seen this? White Dudes for Harris. Anybody know it? Are some of you here? White Dudes for Harris doesn't sound like it. But I'm not worried about them at all because their wives and their wives' lovers are all voting for me. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of those people. Are nice. Voting. Nice, nice. I know Kamala's word because she spends a lot of time complaining. I won't agree to another debate. But the truth is I've debated twice this year, once against Joe Biden and once against David Muir of ABC. He wasn't lying. He smacks Chuck Schumer. Coming and coming in very, very strong a certain way. I won't tell you what way that is, but Chuck Schumer is here looking... Very glum. Doesn't he look glum? He looks glum. But look on the bright side, Chuck, considering how woke your party has become. If Kamala loses, you still have a chance to become the first woman president. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, now he goes after the first gentleman. Campaigning can take a toll on a family and family life, although I hear that Kamala and her husband carve out some really beautiful alone time at the end of the day for an intimate dinner, just Doug, her, and the teleprompter that she uses quite well. Oh, now he goes after the tampon. I used to think the Democrats were crazy for saying that men have periods, but then... I met Tim Waltz. <laughs> Boom. Gretchen Whitmer. All polls are indicating I'm leading big with the Catholic vote, as I should be, as I should be. But I don't think Kamala has given up yet. She hasn't instead of attending tonight. She's in Michigan receiving communion from Gretchen Whitmer. <laughs> 
Doritos, anyone? That's not a pretty sight. On the mayor, Eric Adams. Well, I'd better wrap up because Mayor Adams told me earlier that I needed to make this one very quick, especially the city has reserved this room for a large group of illegal aliens coming in from Texas. That's right. They've reserved many rooms, many rooms, a lot of rooms, too many rooms. Again, he ain't lying. My thoughts. One, very good stuff. Very good stuff by Donald Trump. You know, the, the man can laugh at himself. If you guys haven't been paying attention, he has been uh, hitting podcast after podcast after podcast. And we're not talking the usuals, you know, you know, your, your, your stuffed shirts, you know, your, your suit and ties. No, I mean, he's gone on Theo Vaughn. Uh, he's gone, of course, Tucker. Um, he showed up on, uh, I think, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot, the, the Comedian Shorts, his podcast. A number of podcasts that he's aimed, of course, now he's saying that uh, it's, you know, the people that are voting for him are younger. It's a younger crowd. And he's absolutely right. And of course, now it turns out that uh, he is scheduled to go on Joe Rogan soon. And that should be very interesting because that may have the biggest eyeballs of any podcast. But at the Asmund awesome dinner, he just roasted everyone. You know, and it's it's supposed to be it's supposed to be you know good good natured and you know exchange you know as you as he said barbs with one another, but for Kamala not to attend is a disrespect to the to the tradition that is the Al Smith dinner. But then again, this is someone who, if you haven't been paying attention over the last month, has had a disastrous month as a Democratic nominee. Every podcast she goes on, every rally she does. She shoves both legs down her throat and she makes an ass out of herself. So if she would have shown up, oh, Trump would have had, Trump would have a feel that he would have unleashed on her, you know, bare knuckles and one and gave two about it. But it's all for charity. Now, isn't it? Now, with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue. Spreading the word about the show. Continue watching. Appreciate you guys. And we'll see you next time. Peace.